Now he's making that hard 270 degree high G turn. Woo! That's a live Canadian spider. Um, <coughs> Colorado. Yeah. Oh, that's a live Canadian That looks like a faucet handle. An airplane project. We have a new airplane project. Creighton posted this project on Facebook and said, if you like big projects or you want a head start on a cassette, then take a look at this. I asked him, what do you know about it? He said, I don't know anything about it. So got on Facebook, looked at it, had a really good price on Facebook. And I was like, I looked at the pictures, it said no engine, but it's got a fuselage and tail, there's a wing that's not in here. It's, there's way more value off. here than what they were asking. So I said, who does eBay anymore? And I go, obviously I do, because I got on there to buy it. But they thought it was fraud because I hadn't been on it so long. So I had to jump through hoops and I called Dina and said, get on and try and buy this thing. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm sitting in the parking lot at Andy's Auto Parts. Long story short, I got on there, I bought it, just from the pictures, no engine, and had to go out to Colorado to get it. It's in Colorado, so it's not forever away. If it had been California, I don't think I would have done it. That's way out there. Besides, Justin or somebody would have bought it. So, <laughs> Colorado's not bad. We can get a trailer or U-Haul. Uh, I looked at the U-Haul. U-Haul was like four grand, so that's way too much. So, it's just going to take the truck and get a trailer. We'll go out. We. I thought it was going to be we, me and somebody. It ended up being me, like Talladega Nights we. Drove out on Valentine's Day. Picked up Eric Dent's trailer, which knows... Reno airplanes, it's already made for. And we kept driving. I only made it to uh, Lincoln, Nebraska the first night, which was a pretty good ride. I kept in touch with the guys about picking it up. They go, let us know when we're, you're gonna get there. I wasn't sure, I kept texting them. I was about four hours out, the weather was getting bad. Me and the truck and the trailer all had different ideas at one point trying to go off the road because the weather got bad. So we slowed down, put a four-wheel drive, kept going. The guy's like, well, are you gonna sleep tonight and then pick up the plane tomorrow morning? I'm like, no, I'm gonna pick up the plane tonight and leave and head east. So they didn't understand that the airplane comes apart really quick because the wing was on it. So got to the location, a couple guys met me and uh, started figuring out how to take the plane apart because he's got this set up to be a plug to make a mold to make parts. Uh, and Creighton knew that, so I did have a little bit of information from him about that, but uh, wasn't sure what we we're gonna have to do to get the wing off because everything's mudded in. Guys that were there did not know how it went together. Got the screws out and just kind of said, well, this has to come off so we can get the instrument panel out so we can get the wing out. Uh, it cracked some of it, which is no big deal because I don't know if we're gonna use it or not anyways. Got this off and that's when well, when I first got there, the very first thing I did was I stuck my head up underneath, as you can see the exhaust pipe underneath there. Me and a couple guys thought there might be an engine in this thing, and it turns out that there is. It was sold without an engine, is what it said. Um, and both guys that were there helping me said, oh, there's an exhaust manifold around here somewhere. I said, yeah, I think it's sitting on the bottom of the airplane, and sure enough, there is. So getting the cowling off uh, revealed that there is an engine, and I only saw it for a little bit as we were loading it up, getting on the trailer, and I didn't have time to look at it. So I want to get this open back up and see what we actually have. I really haven't even had a chance to look at it. There's no data tag on it, that's okay. It's got the timing wheel for that ignition system. It's got a nice prop extension on it. Mm -hmm. These are not cheap. It does appear to be the O200, which is what we want. 
See, I think that he was the the new guy, the guy that we bought it was a state. I think he was gonna try to inject it. Because he's got this, this crazy intake system. Which would have to go up in there somehow, probably in the middle of all that. Yeah, so the, the guy that we bought it from, his estate, he was a hot rodder. He had all that's why we got all kinds of weird parts and stuff that came with this, like horns and things that we don't know what go with the airplane. You don't think that's airplane part. <laughs> they think he was going to do, well, we know he's doing some sort of crazy injection because that's not what goes on here. But oh, we do is. have the right part to go on. Problem is, I don't think, well, we'll just have to see. I'm not sure his custom exhaust is going to work with a stock carburetor setup. So that may have to change. But that is a pleasant surprise. But that's fine. No, this is, this is awesome. His brother and his friends said they think these cylinders have been flowed. If you did some work to them. So I have to tear all this apart, see what it is, check the camshaft, see if he's got that profile for racing or not. Got an alternator hanging on the back. I would like to see some mags hanging back there, but that's what he's got that electronic condition for. Mm -hmm. So we do have log books from the original build, Francis Romig. And he called it a front runner FR1. It was November 876 FR. It flew once. There's an accident report. You can read it. It was the, we didn't have big enough vents in the fuel tank and 200 feet or so in the equipment. So we believe that's how that stub wing got made, was it just cut down the original wing. And somebody built or had built another one. That's out at the hangar. We'll have to take a look at that later. <sighs> This, See, that look yeah, at your face right now. this right here would have been a serious find if that had paperwork behind it, because that would have been airworthiness certificate registration. So you don't but have to do it. We don't think we have one. Break off. Mm -hmm.